Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use this library of circuit symbols which I'll make available via a link in the description to draw various uh, physics diagrams or circuit diagrams. Now, first of all, I'll just show you under view page grid I've set up a 5mm grid. I'll just zoom in a little bit. I find that's uh, quite a good grid. You can do that under document properties here and if I just drag that into view under grids you can see I've got a rectangular grid, you might have to click new if you haven't got one and set the spacing at 5mm for X and Y now I'll just show you a quick circuit let's just click on the power supply Control c Control v and if it's not snapping where you want to just check that grid snapping is on, which I'll just turn on now and you can see sometimes it snaps I want a, this end here on a grid line Sometimes you have to zoom in and drag close to the grid line and you can see it snaps into position there. Now I might want a, uh, a switch, so I'll click on that, Control C. I'll just put things roughly in position here, just on grid lines. You can see that's not on a grid line that end, so I'll just drag it and there it is. Make sure you've got snap to cusp nose on, you can play around with the snapping tools. And let's look also at a resistor. Perhaps that one, control C and control V. I'll rotate that around and I'll try and drag this end to meet that there. Yep, and that clicks nicely. Might want to um, put a light in. See over here that one, control C and control V. I might rotate that one around that way and just leave it there. And let's see if we can join that up. Using the Bezier pen, to pen tool, or B, I'll click here, I'll just zoom in and I'll snap to cusp mode, yes. Hold down control to constrain the vertical or horizontal, click for each corner, click and enter, and I've joined that bit up. You can see it's a different stroke width, I've used 0.5 for my components, you might need to do that too. Still with the Bezier pen tool connected, click, 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 and enter to finish, and up to 0.5 mil and let's finish off we'll perhaps go down a little bit more click click over to here click and up there final click press enter after that and bump that up to 0.5 and you can see we've got a nifty little circuit diagram if I go to view page good to take that off you can see that um, you know that's quite uh, neat you might want to select the whole lot with a marquee, control G to group. I'll just show you what happens um, if you haven't got 5mm increments and you're having trouble joining things up. So let me just uh, ungroup this, control U to ungroup. And I'll delete the lamp for example. And let's say, oh look, I'll press the, the node tool, is, which is N, which is what you'll need to do. And I'll just uh, drag this, I'll drag it you know, to a crazy position, say somewhere out there. So say I've got something like that, and when you're under view, page grid, you know, that one might be on a line, but this one's not, and the component's not going to fit exactly in there, what can you do? Well, you can click on the end of the path that you want, then end for the node tool, and you can drag it to a grid square, or you can drag it to anywhere you want, you know, join up there do whatever you want, you've got full control over those nodes if it's snapping where you don't want it, take off the grid snapping and you can drag it to wherever you want, so you've got full control over that then control C and open up say Word and paste it into Word now how you can move it around in Word depends on the um, settings of the, the graphic that you're inserting I'll just show you that once Word opens up Okay, now we can go control V and paste it into Word. You can see it's uh, just as sharp if I zoom in in Word. But if I click on it, I might be able to drag it. You might want to do that or you might not. You might want it in line with text, which I think this currently is. You can see the setting there. If I go to layout options, click that. And you can put it in front or behind of text, in front of text, something like that. Uh, 
lets you then move it around uh, on a page. If I put on the paragraph marks, you can see if I press enter, that's moving with that paragraph because it's a, if I click on the diagram, it's anchored to that paragraph. I want to move it to there, the anchor, so then I can put in carriage returns and uh, not affect the diagram's placement. So there's one way, I'll go back to Inkscape, that you can use uh, this library or gallery of circuit symbols to build up diagrams. And hope that's of some use to you. Bye for now.